Hey guys, I'm back with a review of Starters by Lisa Price. This book is published by Delacorte Press, a division of Random House. It is a YA book, and it's dystopian sci-fi, but not heavy on the sci-fi elements. There are some there, but it's not like the book takes place in space or anything like that. Uh, this is an ARC copy. It is now available at your local bookstore in hardcover format. Uh, let's start a little bit with description of the world. Uh, in this world, the elderly are living a lot longer due to advances in medication, some of even reaching the age of 200. So because of this, the government has put into place what they refer to as the Senior Employment Protection Act. And that's to prevent the elderly from being kind of pushed out of the workforce. They've banned anybody under the age of 19 from working. And the book takes place after a war has already occurred called the Pac Rim Wars. And in this war, the opposing side has released these genocidal spore bombs that have decimated most of the, popu most of the middle-aged population, leaving just the younger generation and the older generation. The youngers are referred to as starters, and the elderly are referred to as enders, sort of the end of their life cycle. Um, in this world also, um, the young, particularly the orphans who have no elderly uh, relatives left living, are are really like treated like sec worse than second class citizens basically they have no rights they still are unable to work because of the senior employment protection act um, they are not allowed to hold property um, they have no way of making money they're they're destitute um, there are marshals from the government that will go out and try and track these people down and they will collect them and, and use them into what they call legalized slave labor so our main characters in this book um, are uh, Callie Woodland, her brother Tyler, and her best friend Michael. They are orphaned and living on the streets. Callie and Tyler's parents both died. Her mother died fairly quickly from the spore attack, and her father was taken away uh, to facility because um, he had been infected and they were worried that could spread. But it, uh, as far as we know, he has also passed away too. So now they are living on the streets. And she's desperate to find some ways to raise money. Her brother is, is very sick. And she decides in her desperation to hook up with this company called Prime Destinations. It is a corporation that has found a way to um, rent the bodies of the starters to the enders so that they can be young again. And they do this by like implanting a chip in the young person's brain and hooking up an older person to a machine and transferring their, their memories into that person. Um, it's pretty scary, but like I said, Callie's, Callie's desperate. She has to do something to get money for medicine and, and food for her brother. Now, there are some restrictions with this uh, Prime Destinations that the elderly can't do things to alter the body in any way of the, um, the, renter, uh, the renter, they call the elderly people. They can't do anything to the donor body. They can't do tattoos. They can't cut their hair. They can't do dangerous things. Um, there's lots of limitations, and they're only allowed to rent the donor body a maximum of three times. And that's the situation Kelly is in. Um, it's each rental period kind of gets progressively longer. Um, first one is just like maybe a few hours to see how the connection is, and then um, the third one can be it can be months. And she has no idea who's renting her body. It's a complete anonymity involved in this situation. And of course, as you know, you expect things go seriously wrong. And this is how Callie has to deal with these situations. Um, my opinion on this book, it's, it's a slower paced dystopian book. It's, it's more along the lines of like a delirium, uh, not like a Hunger Games, lots of action, action. It's slow paced through most of the book, and then bam, at the end, it's like things kind of get somewhat resolved. Of course, there's a cliffhanger, not a major cliffhanger, but enough that you want to read the sequel. Um, I, I enjoyed it. I didn't mind too much that the slower pacing, it, it, it kind of delved more into the characters and and how this whole prime destinations and what maybe their ulterior motive is. Um, that was that was kind of interesting. I, I liked the originality of the plot. Uh, I hadn't come across something along this lines. So I thought that was really interesting. I liked the character of Callie and her selflessness. Her main concern is her brother Tyler. I liked the strength that you know it took for her to go and do this um, to her body and just give her body away for you know this period of time and and um, just just like I said to help her brother. And that was really, really interesting. I, I did enjoy it. Um, I'm looking forward to the sequel. I did come across, uh, if I can wake up my nook here, this is a, kind of an ebook 
called Portrait of a Starter by Lisa Price. And it's an, a hidden story uh, from Michael's point of view. It's very short. It only shows like 15, I think that's supposed to be pages in here. It was like $1.99 from uh, Barnes & Noble. I I wouldn't even bother reading this one, to tell you the truth. There's been some other ebook book um, novellas that I've come across for other books like Hannah in the Delirium series. That was well worth reading. This one, not so much. It wasn't it wasn't revealing in any way. It didn't really tell you too much about, about Michael, I don't think. Um, there are two more novellas planned between Starters and the following sequel, Enders, which is due out in the winter of this year, 2012. I'm hoping those will be better. I may just read them just to find out. But um, you could probably pass on the portrait of starters. But for this book, Starters, I do recommend reading it. It was enjoyable. Um, like I said, originality of the plot. I love the cover. <laughs> That's really cool with the, that eye. And it'll explain her look and everything here. And uh, I'm looking forward to reading Enders, like I said. Uh, I've given this about four out of five stars. And I hope you give it a try. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks. Bye-bye.